Hey guys, so there's a theme I'm sure all of you have noticed whenever it comes to religious people. They take credit for all the good things, or they give God credit for all the good things, but when it comes to the bad stuff, they never take any responsibility for it. And if they do, they say that God is using that terrible event for some sort of greater purpose, or they just blame it on someone else, or they say he's working in mysterious ways. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it seems like this theme has been happening more and more lately. That's why I made that video about how they credited God with the Big Bang. It's like, nap, just forget that creation story that we've been pandering to for years. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that's just symbolic. Psh, yeah, the Big Bang, we knew it all along. Yeah, but it doesn't stop there. Nope. We have this guy, Roy Ortiz, a Colorado man who was rescued from his submerged car by first responders, is now claiming that it was something else that saved him. God's grace. And get this, he's suing the people who actually saved him, the first responders, because, well, they didn't get there fast enough. So yeah, we're not gonna give God any credit for putting you in this terrible situation, but we're going to give him all the credit for your rescue and the people who actually saved you. Yeah, we're gonna sue them because they were too slow at it. Uh-uh, we can't give God credit for any of the bad stuff. And there's a lot of bad stuff in this world. Starvation, AIDS, natural disasters, this thing. And unfortunately, one of the bad things, according to Christians, is love. Of course, I'm talking about same-sex love. Homosexuality is one thing that does exist in this world that Christians don't give God credit for. It's like, yes, we were all made by God in his image so perfectly, but not those people over there. They choose to be that way and it ain't natural. Even though it exists in the natural world and is observed by several different species, they take this homophobia so far that they threatened an eight-year-old girl with being expelled from her school because she wasn't girly enough. Sunny Kale asked for a short haircut when she was five years old because she wanted to donate it to children with cancer. And after that, she kept it short and liked wearing jeans and a t-shirt. Well, apparently that was not okay with Timberlake Christian School. So the elementary principal sent home a letter reminding the little girl's family of the school's religious affiliation and its policy of refusing students who contradict a biblical lifestyle. I mean, by that policy, the school should be refusing every female student. I don't remember the Bible ever advocating for the education of women. And since when is a school principal allowed to be a woman? Oh, and I guess they'll also be kicking out all the boys who don't have long hair, beards, robes, and sandals too. Now the thing about this story, that bothers me just a little bit is they kind of play up the fact that she donated her hair to cancer. Now that's really cool and that's really awesome, but it happened when she was five and now she's eight, so that's three years later. So it's not like that's really the current issue of her hair being short. I mean, the little girl likes to dress how she likes to dress. She likes her hair to be how she likes it to be. Why do we have to kind of like almost provide an excuse? Like, well, she did it for cancer. No, that's how she likes to dress. There's nothing wrong with it. There should be, you know, the choice for anybody, any little kid, to choose what they want to wear without feeling pressured to fit into certain gender pigeonholes. Why can't that be the story? Why, why do we have to, like, soften the blow almost to Christians with saying, well, she donated to cancer, so it's okay. No, it's okay because she can do whatever she wants to do with how she dresses and how she has her hair cut. We believe that unless Sunny and her family clearly understand that God has made her female and her dress and behavior need to follow suit with her God-ordained identity, that TCS is not the best place for her future education. I don't think this school is fit to educate anyone. I mean, God-ordained identity? Forget. Just forget about free will. Weren't we all made in God's image or does that only apply when it's just comfortable for you? If this story had been about an Islamic school forcing children into a dress code, the story would have been all over the media. But no one cares because it's Christians. And if these people had their way, women would be barefoot, shackled, and pregnant. And I'm always amazed at the fear shown by religious people when someone dares to be different. I hope this little girl grows up to be even stronger than she is today. I hope that when she gets older she realizes how unfairly she's been treated, and for no better reason than to stuff us into the gender pigeonholes that religion wants to put us in. One day, and I hope one day very soon, religions will finally conform to the changing mindset of a modern society, and they're gonna have to conform or they'll die. They'll admit that there's nothing wrong with someone's personal preference when it comes to gender identity or who they want to love, and they'll even start to call same-sex marriage beautiful. They might even take credit for the phrase, love is love, just like they give God credit for the Big Bang, and of course, They'll say that they knew it all along. So let me know what you guys think about this video. I'm sure you've had similar experiences or encountered similar people. So tell me all about it in the comment section below. Also, if you like my awesome t-shirt, make sure to get one at www.jacquelineglenn.com. I will have a link to that in the description. And it actually really helps support this channel when you get those t-shirts. If you do get one, please send me a picture on Twitter or Facebook so I can share it and let everyone see how great you look in these awesome t-shirts because 
admit it, like it's, it's impossible to not look super sexy when you're wearing this, obviously. So yeah, send me those pictures. Also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. All my social media links are in the description below. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. There's no God, he doesn't exist, so don't. Ha ha ha.